Good morning. It's Thursday, March 11th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, In Search of a Rainbow, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 9. Then God told Noah and his sons, I hereby confirm my covenant with you and your descendants, and with all the animals that were on the boat with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, every living creature on earth. Yes, I'm confirming my covenant with you. Never again will floodwaters kill all living creatures. Never again will a flood destroy the earth. Then God said, I'm giving you a sign of my covenant with you and with all living creatures for all generations to come. I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. It is the sign of my covenant with you and with all the earth. When I send clouds over the earth, the rainbow will appear in the clouds, and I will remember my covenant with you and with all living creatures. Never again will the floodwaters destroy all life. When I see the rainbow in the clouds, I will remember the eternal covenant between God and every living creature on earth. Then God said to Noah, Yes, this rainbow is the sign of the covenant I am confirming with all the creatures on earth. These promises of God's to Noah and his descendants are always a welcome read after the horrors of the previous chapter's judgment. The whole earth is engulfed in a tsunami of God's wrath, and every living creature, except those on the ark, is destroyed. A rainbow of hope is more than a pleasant sight. It's the restoration of life and a reason to go on. Noah and family spent a year in a floating wildlife park waiting for the waters to dry up. We've been waiting that long in coronavirus watch mode, and frankly, it's been just as dark, smelly, and frightening. During this time, we've all been waiting for the rainbow to appear. It dawned on me that I'm beginning to identify with old Noah as he sent out birds from the ark looking for land. I watch the news each day, eagerly anticipating news of a breakthrough, a super vaccine, or some immunity uncovered in a gene. And each day is a little more disappointment heaped on the pile of floodwaters. My grandsons would call them Rona waters. No land in sight, skies still gloomy. Enter the God who precipitated the flood and now delivers the dry land with a promise that the worst is over. The sight is awesome, rainbows of promise bursting through the sky like a new day's glory, and there is once again hope. This is a rainbow of which Dorothy, the Tin Man, Scarecrow, and Cowardly Lion could never imagine. For Noah and his tribe of seven, this wasn't Oz, it was Eden returned. Is this not the ending for which we all long to have a new beginning, a new outlook? It's three parts joy and one part nervous anticipation of a new day's challenges. What will, after the storm, bring to this world? Will we begin to live into the covenant as was offered to Noah? Will we be different than the generation Noah left behind at the dock? They were a sorrowful stench in the nostrils of heaven. They found no faith, even with righteous Noah preaching the message of coming judgment for a hundred years. Our world has had a greater witness than Noah's. We've had the prophets of old, Micah and Jonah and Isaiah and many more. We've had the forerunner, John the Baptist, telling us to prepare. We had the loving ministry and word of the incarnate word of God the witness of the cross, and 2,000 years of the church's testimony. And yet our world hears little of it. Sometimes the church barely acknowledges it. And yet it's all part of God's holy plan, all evidence of the coming fulfillment of prophecy and the sovereignty of heaven's will. There is coming a time, and could it be soon, when all nature will testify to the glory of God, his plan to wipe away every tear, put death to death, and retire the idea of time, and his judgment separating the sheep from the goats, darkness of night's ignorance from the light of his glory, and establishing the eternal kingdom of holiness and joy 
will be complete. The final splash of color in a rainbow of promise. For you today, being on the right side of history is an easy call to see. It's Christ, the hope of glory, who calls you into this search for a rainbow of hope. And it is Christ who extends his loving hand for you to step up into the ark of his covenant. It's more than just shelter in the storm. It's eternity in his presence. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.